Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Oh my gosh, be careful. The ground's super loose here. If we fall, we're going to seem like two punches. Who won't fall? Ready, Pam? Three, two, one. Valentina must be over the moon about Dom stepping down. She's been living alone here for what? Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, senor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, senor. Looking Enjoy good, the man. Looking good. Evening, senor. Thank Would God it's finally a... That extra security. Tamara it's Vidal. The I'm here for the tour, it seems. Ah, yes. Miss Vidal. What? My apologies. I didn't recognize Corvo, you. got a message from the boss. Duty calls. Let me guess, the Burnwood woman. That's right. Yates has arranged for the chief winemaker to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Wants you to tag along. And not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh, have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. It makes me sentimental. Yeah, keep it real. Mr. Yates. Yeah, I got you, message. You mind telling me what I'm... Okay. Nothing quite spoils a party like yeah, your guests inexplicably dropping dead. In fact, a couple of spots come again? to mind. On the tour or after. Ingram and something Dutch oh, stand by. So you're not sure yet? Does that mean there's a plan A? One where I don't stand a 50-50 chance of getting caught. I mean, you do realize the risk here, boss. Broad daylight, workers around. Who exactly is this person? on your parade. It's a nice gesture. Yeah, all right. But a bit too But if I'm going to be one of these heralds of yours, you need to start letting me in on a few things. Has never been done style. OK. So who's this for, boy? I'm more of a beer man Thank myself, you. but if Yates wants to bring the Heralds closer <laughs> nah. together and play the nah, modern no boss, I, I don't know. I just never mind. framed an urban legend Edwards before. Very post truth. Yeah. Plus, I like he has it. good reason to be confident. He is Edward's closest legal advisor. Not even Thomas Cross or Eugene Cobb had a direct line of contact. I say Yates is at the top of a very short list. So, how do you feel about Burnwood? How do you think? She and her friends killed Yamazaki. Cassidy, probably Bronson. How does she fit to be a herald? But on the other hand, people defect all the time. Mm -hmm. She's most certainly qualified. True. What the hell was that? Bronson knows what he's doing.
Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, now. Let's see. An apology will be nice, no? Now, let's see. A lovely inky black color. Good size, large and firm. Seeds, brown, excellent. And finally, taste. Mm. Sweet, flavorful, robust tannins. Some floral notes. Marvelous. Why, I say these grapes are ripe for harvest. Inform the workers, will you, Ramon? I have a third to contact. Will do. Enjoying the show. Was in league with Grey. She's responsible for killing how many of us? Hey, yo, what's up? Ah, my fellow wine lovers. Hello. Welcome to Vineda Yates. I do apologize for the delay, but the Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief wine maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any Almost questions that. before we start? Yes. But you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, no. we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Great expectations. So how do you like Argentina? Like everywhere else. Full of Americans. First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on steaming every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial-sized freezer unit, and last but not least, our trusty grape crusher. Interesting. Wouldn't you say, Mr. Black? Follow me, please. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you don't seem the type. Oh, I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes through its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, Yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser before the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? How about you, Mr. Black? You look like you have something on your mind. I have a question. It's... Perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. Well, wake up. Ah, por favor. I can't do this anymore. My five-year-old doesn't come down to play the game with this. What can you tell me about this freezer? This is an industrial coal storage unit where we keep our excess grapes stocked to prevent decay. It easily reaches temperatures of minus 10 degrees Celsius. Trust me, you don't want to stay in here for long. No kidding. Hey, there's no doorknob on the inside. Seems like a pretty glaring safety omission, if you ask me. Probably soundproof, too. And good luck getting a phone signal. Such imaginations you have. But there really is no need to worry. Why? We haven't had an accident since Mrs. Yates' dog was run over by a gray picker. Now, are there any more questions? Don't be shy.
There's been an explosion. 